Hello everyone, this is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the KiCad default sigmatic components library basic usage. Okay. Uh, after you download and install the KiCad, uh, for the first run, you will see the interface of the software is like this. Okay. So um, in order to use the software, we need to create a new project first. The, this is the new project. New project, okay. We will uh, put, put the folder under this folder, and then you can put a, whatever folder you like. So we put it test 01, save. Okay, it will by default create two files. One is PCB file, another one is Sigmatic file here. We double click this file and open the Sigmatic edit. For this video, we, we, are, we will focus on the uh, components library. Okay, uh, for the Sigmatic. So uh, let's the first thing you need to know where is the library for the keycap where is the default library we can take a look here so this is a per uh, preference and we take a look here a uh, component libraries take a look uh, it will tell you uh, there is all library there is all the default library file here and where it is installed is installed here. So there will be have uh, three, three default search paths for the library. One is uh, under the projects folder. So it's current projects folder. Another one is key library folder. Another one is the temporary folder. Let's go this folder to take a look what file, what kind of file under this folder, okay? And it will be here. So this is a key card is, is uh, uh, installed uh, in my computers. You will see here, it is share key card library. So the share is here and the key card is here and the library is here and then you will you will see all the library file is under the this this uh, folders so let's take uh, for example so devices and uh, let's take a look at devices so this is the devices library this is device library and the then we will have two files for the for the library. Library. One file is the library. Another file is this one. Actually, you can take a look what what is inside. It is the describe. Uh, it is a description about the library. What inside the library? You will see. Okay. So description. You will see there is a AC and uh, all this and uh, this symbols what inside the library okay you will from the text file you will know what what kind of components in 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 the library and it even tell you where to find the components information okay so uh for each library they will have two files this is library this is description files for the library okay so uh we know we know where we put uh, uh where we can find the default library for the key can. and uh, uh, we also can see the uh, components name from the uh, text file but uh how to see the actually shape of the uh, sigmatic components let's take a look here browser okay so this is a browser browser let you see what uh, the components in the actually a library let's take a look at this one and this one so you will see 
how how it draw it okay and uh, devices okay antenna antenna how to draw the antenna symbols crystal this is crystal 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 and uh, um, microcontroller so this is microcontrollers how we how Motorola okay okay so we all this is how we are sure in your schematic okay so this is the uh, second thing the third thing how we added the uh, uh, components from the default library to the schematic so this is the uh, schematic uh, places we can uh, make it a big so you can um, click here so in these places place component click it and then move your mouse to here any places and then click it again double click it it will show the it will show the components uh, field so what what kind of uh, components you want to put it the so one things you will know the exactly the name of components if you don't know the exactly name you just know a part of it you can feel it uh, filter it for example I want to place a register how we do it just a uh, input an R so it will find the old R uh, all the R components here uh, if you find it you double click it so you you already put it here see you already put it here so let's say if you want to um, place a capacitor how we do it click here and double click put it here double click here and input C capacitor with a moment it will show it to you okay uh, let's let's take a look at is, is there any um, is there any key components let's take a look okay there is no any key or a speaker okay it has the speaker so we can put a speaker here so you will see that the, the default uh, components for the sigmatic is very nice the Georgia Georgia um, com components very nicely okay so um, that's it uh, for this video we talk uh, three things about the default sigmatic components library the first one is uh, how to find the library where is the library um, where is the uh, default setting where is the default folder for the library the second sense is to uh, browse your default uh, components library the third the last thing is how to um, place the components from the uh, library okay that's it and uh, we will um, do more lessons for the library in the future okay see you next time